As a dog owner, you may have struggled with conventional dog boots. They're really, really hard to keep on your dog's feet. Well, you don't want to miss today's interview. I'm talking to Lisa Barenhoff. She is the inventor and the owner of Walkie Paws, the first leggings for dogs. Hi, Lisa. Hi, B. Thanks for having me. Oh, welcome to People with Passion for Pets. I'm excited to have you on the show. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, so Lisa, you are the inventor and the owner of a company called Walkie Paws. And Walkie Paws are, are just this great alternative to conventional dog boots because as a dog owner, I personally have had the challenge of dog boots falling off. So uh, tell us a little bit about your product. Sure. So that's actually why the product came to be, because about five years ago, I had at that point a Cocker Spaniel named Toffee, and he got really sick from ingesting snowmelt chemicals because I live in Manhattan. So he'd come home and there was some, some snowmelt chemicals or salt on his paws that he'd ingested, and he got really sick. And the vet said to me, you know, if you live in Manhattan, after the snow, during the snow, you need to put boots on your dog. And I'd never used boots on my dog. So I said, okay. And I bought some boots and they didn't work. And I bought some more boots and they didn't work. And I tried at least 10 different types of um, booties for my dog. And they all had the same three issues. They were really hard to get four individual boots onto his squirming paws and almost needed two people, someone to hold him. And then I, you know, to stretch the boot out and get them on. Um, and then when I did get them on, because they relied on being tight around his ankle, they were very uncomfortable for Tuffy. Which was not good and then thirdly if i managed to get him to walk in them he'd do a funny walk which they all do and we'd get outside if it was snowing in particular invariably we'd lose one or more of those boots so that's how you know this whole idea came up i at that time was a stay-at-home mom but i had been in the corporate world in marketing working for mattel and revlon and also in the hosiery industry and i came home one day and i was like you know what there has to be a better way to do this and I had the idea and I took a pair of pantyhose and tied them on Toffee's back to sort of suspend over his back. And that was the beginning of the idea of doing these all-in-one dog boot leggings. So essentially it's a dog booty. As you can see, that's a rubber, totally waterproof boot that's attached to a water resistant four-way stretch fabric that's really stretchy and comfortable. So it sort of suspends over the dog's back. So it's easy to get on because you sort of just open these and slip the dog's paw in. So there's some sort of suspension over the back to get them on. And then once they're on your dog's back, there's a mechanism at the top where you can tighten them, um, you know, with this little cord stopper here, and you can make them the right height and the right width on your dog's back, and then they fit perfectly. So that was the idea. And from there, I developed um, Walkie Paws. That was in 2018. And it's just been crazy since then. The company just grows every year, and we struggle to keep up. And it's been an incredible ride that I, I never thought would take off as well as it did, but very exciting. What I like about your product, about Walkie Paws, is that one, those straps, they're super soft. Mm -hmm. And, and um, the other thing is it makes it easier to put on the dog, because like you said in the very beginning, how you came to make the product, when you have four individual booties to put on and you're trying to, you know, wrestle to get them on, your product is so much easier because they slip on easily. And then once they're on, you can make your adjustments, make sure that they fit perfectly. So I really like uh, the design. It's, it's great. Thank you. Well, one of the best things about it is and what we really claim in all of our advertising is never lose a dog boot again because the best thing of all is you'll never lose a dog boot i mean the worst that would happen is maybe a dog boot would slip off but it would still be attached because they all connect together so you know i mean when i was in the snow last weekend i saw a lot of different dog boots because dogs they come off and yes. <laughs> they were hidden in the snow this way you never lose a dog boot mm -hmm. so that's one of our you know our main selling points is you know it's expensive when you buy these dog boots they're not cheap you don't want to lose one because then you have to buy another four so it's exactly um, yeah. now and they're they're not just super practical though they're they're also a fashion statement i yeah. went to your website they come in all these different colors and uh, patterns. And now I saw you actually have, do you have leggings that go with that, that the dog owner can wear that match? Oh, it's so interesting you saw that. Yes, we did a little foray <laughs> into that. We have a, a, a small amount. We just did a very small order. We launched our Match Your Pup 
adult leggings. So it's exactly the same. They're black leggings with hearts on them. They're really adorable. And they have a little hidden pocket so you can put the poop bags in there and pull them out. You know, they, they kind of come out of the, the, the pocket so it's kind of hands-free. And you can match your dog in hearts to show how much you love, which is very cute. And then we also have re designed our camo and we have a really cool fashionable camo pattern that's just back in stock we were sold out until um a few days ago so that's very exciting um and always looking at doing new patterns and colors and we actually have um a survey on instagram at the moment because people keep saying they want more plain colors and we've got a few ideas and we wanted people on instagram to vote and tell us what you know what plain colors they'd like and of course, the uh, walkie paws do come in different sizes, even though they are adjustable on the top because yes. different dog sizes for the paw size. And just like with most dog boots, it's important to measure the width of the dog paw before you order 100%. your walkie paws. That's what we okay. say. We really say to people, the most important thing is to make sure that the the paws work, you know, that the because the, because the paw is what it is. It's not going to get bigger mm -hmm. or smaller. That's right. the size of it. But the height can be adjusted. So um, within a, a you know certain um, spectrum, the height can be adjusted for a, so for a smaller dog that's tighter to the ground, you just have more straps hanging. And we do tell people if they really don't like those, they can cut them off or tie them, and, you know, in a knot. So we we make it very adjustable on the height, and it's also adjustable to a certain extent, you know, with the width because you can tighten this. So if you've got a very skinny dog, you can tighten it to make that the width of the the leg. But, and um, that's perfect. Yeah, because I have a I have a Jack Russell Terrier and she's got the skinniest legs. Right. And that has always been such a challenge to keep anything on them. So the walkie paws are perfect. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. So that's you know, sort of is designed to to work for most dogs. There are some outliers that it won't work for. Corgis that are close to the ground and have very stumpy Tiny legs, legs, very, very thick legs. Unfortunately, it's not going to work because they're going to need like a medium, but the medium's going to be so, you know, tall in the leg sock that it's just not going to work yeah. so there are a couple of outliers but it fits most i'd say like you know 90 percent of dog breeds and but so now you've expanded though you're not just making walkie paws you have uh, i i heard you mentioned a leash you uh, made some leggings for people but but you yes. now have all kinds of other exciting products as well well we just launched something really exciting um i had a situation last year in february and it was snowing tremendously where I was putting the dog booty, the dog leggings on. And then we had at that time a puffer coat with a zip up the back. And then I put the coat on and then we go out. And I had the idea last year to make it all in one. So we've launched um, something that people are loving. It's our, it's our puffer coat, which is a really high quality, beautiful coat. And it has this little attachment here for a harness. So wherever the harness is on the back. Um, but what we've done is we've created, it can be worn, you know, just as a coat, but we have little hidden, I don't know if you can see them here. So it's a hidden buttonhole. There are four of them on each corner of the coat that you can actually attach. And these are sold separately, what we call attachable leggings. And they come with a little attachment mechanism and they sold, I can show you here, they sold in a, in a separate pack like that. So you buy the coat and you buy the leggings, you attach the leggings to the coat and then it becomes a snowsuit so thereafter you've got the, the leggings on the coat so you take the whole thing off we actually have a really clever little hanging clip here so you can just hang this on your doorknob and with, with the leggings attached it becomes a snowsuit so you don't have to put the leggings on and then the coat you now have leggings booties and a coat all in one so that's been really successful people are loving that we're getting really good you know, re replies to our questions about that one and responses. And then we also have just launched our adorable little. Oh, that's <laughs> so cute. And it's designed so that the dogs, I have a little model here to show, it's designed oh. so the dog's ear go through. So that helps it stay on. And then there's an adjustment neck strap and it really stays on very well. And what's also unique about our little pom-pom hat is we have, we've lined it inside. So it's water resistant. Oh. So, because a lot of these hats are like, you know, they'll get wet all the way through. So we have a really cool promotion as well. If people buy the leggings and the coat, they can get the hat for 60% off. It's like a bundle deal. And the hat then works out to like, again, $9.75. So it's oh, a really nice great. deal to have your, throw the coat on, slip the leggings in, put the put the hat on. You can even use our leash as well. And you've got a whole walkie paws um, outfit. 
for winter. That's just perfect for when it's really, yeah. really cold. I yeah, for when it's snowing and disgusting weather. And then we do have one other thing that people are liking as well. When it is really, really cold and sub-zero temperatures, and I, I know our Canadian customers love these, um, they lined socks. They okay. well, they lined the socks. They just four little socks that you slip on first, and those are sort of a liner. And then you put the leggings on. So the paws are just super, super warm and toasty. So when it's really, really cold, you know, those come into play. Yeah, that's um, great. So we have you covered from toe to tail with everything. <laughs> and we also added a brand new feature that's really more for, um, for, people, for our customers to really make money themselves. And that is we have a little QR code that's actually on our product. So, because a lot of customers come back to us and say, well, you know, I sold so many for you today. At least 20 people asked me and I told them, you know, to go to walkie pause. So we've made it easy for them. They can scan their, if people ask, they can scan the, the QR code, takes them right to the website and people can sign up for our ambassador program where they get a coupon code with their name, their first name and some letters that they can give to people. People will get 15% off with that code and they will also get 15% of any purchases that are made. So that way we're giving back. We feel... If people are promoting for us, it's not really right that they shouldn't, you know, make something back. So that's another new addition. And but your walkie paws aren't just meant for outdoors. I noticed that you have a, a particular type of walkie paw that can also be used for dogs inside, which um, I absolutely love because um, my elderly Chesapeake Bay Retriever, when he got um, really bad arthritis, it was really hard for him to get up when he was laying down on the tile floor. And so I think that's a genius idea. Well, it's so interesting you bring that up because that was another thing that came from my, my late dog, Toffee. And I actually have him on my website because he was when he was, he, he lived to 16, but in his last year or so, it was really hard for him to get up on the wooden floors. And it was heartbreaking because he'd be like trying to get up. And he'd, there were many times he just couldn't get up mm -hmm. and you'd have to lift him. And if I wasn't there, I was like, oh my, you know, they couldn't go to the bathroom or whatever because we had his wee wee pads. But I came, came up at that point, that was about a year ago, with the indoor walkie paws, which is exactly the same thing, but instead of rubber, and in fact, why we came up with this is people were using our, our regular walkie paws indoors, and I didn't like that. I was like, I don't want dogs indoors to be in this rubber because you can't really breathe. You know, that they they designed to go outdoors to keep you your protected from rain and snow and dirt, but you meant to do an outdoor walk, come home, take them off, not leave your dog, you know, around in them all day long. So then we came up with the idea of the exact same construction, but the bottom would be a sock with the little grippies on it. So it would be soft and easy cotton sock with some stretch in it. Um, we launched that. We actually debuted that on Shark Tank last year around this time. And it did extremely well. People came back and said they didn't stay on as well as they thought it, they would. And there were a few other fit issues. So we've actually totally redesigned them. We've now designed them. I don't have one here, but we've designed them with a chest, a little chest adjustment that goes over here so they stay on and also with um little drawstring elastic for the back legs so the back legs stay because sometimes with staying at home when dogs are lying down and standing up and sitting and standing up they will come off but our new ones are designed to stay on so they've got these new you know the new strap in the front and the new elastic drawstring at the back plus a different more stretchy fabric one of our customers used the walkie paws and she had to change her life because she had had to put yoga mats down everywhere mm -hmm. or her dog wouldn't walk where there wasn't carpet. He just wouldn't go there. And then when she yeah. put the paws, you know, the walkie paws on, she was like, oh my God, he can now walk anywhere in the apartment. So it's, it's interesting. There's so many different dogs, so many different issues. And we're just trying to help them with all these, you know, all their, their different situations. Because even when, you know, when we go to, when we talk about the outdoor walkie paws, when I first launched them, they were for the snow and the rain. And that's what I thought people would mostly use them for. And it's very interesting that people use them throughout the year, where people who say they help with, you know, seasonal allergies for dogs. People use them a lot for the hot pavements because they are designed to protect against very hot pavements. And they also have the tiny little grippies on them, which elevate the paws slightly off the pavement as well. So, yeah, so it's really, that's been like the most interesting thing is how walkie paws sells throughout the entire year. Literally in the summer months for that reason, for pesticides, because people you just want to protect their pets when they've had the plants sprayed 
for all sorts of allergies that dogs have to grasses and weeds and stuff like that. And then there's also, um, I forget what they're called, these plants that have like little pointy things in them. And mm -hmm. I think they mostly California, I'm going to forget the name. But I know people say all the time that it really helps with that because they their dogs, especially dogs with a lot of fur, get these things all over their fur. So what's also you know great about walking paws um, that I never mentioned is it not only covers the paws, which beauties do as well, but it goes all the way up the leg. So it really covers the fur on the leg too, which is obviously great in the snow because of snowballs that collect in, especially like, you know, doodles and hairy dogs, you yeah. know, fur. Um, but then also in the summer to protect from these plants and things that stick to, to fur. So it's, um, that's been very interesting. And then we obviously have, those people are very concerned about germs and that's sort of more and more people are concerned about dirt and germs so this way if you put the walkie paws on just every day you're not bringing any germs or dirt back into your house and I know for me I sleep with my dog every every night he's in my bed so it's kind of nice to know that his paws haven't been walking the streets of New York stepping in all the muck and then jumping in my bed so. yes Yes, Keith, I was thinking the mud is a big deal for me as well. And um, the other thing is that it's really easy to clean them, right? You can machine yeah. wash them. Yeah. Super easy. Literally, you take the walkie paws. I have some here. You would just take the pore areas and rinse them in warm water with some soap or not and hang them to dry. And once they get really dirty, um, they can just be thrown in the washing machine on delicate and then just hung to dry thereafter. So they are they're super easy. And we, we actually recommend people to have two pairs. So one to, we call it one to wear, one to wash. So you can rotate them, especially if it's snowing and raining. You come home and they're sopping wet. They need to go, you know, in the washing machine. Yes, that, yeah. it's perfect. And yeah, especially uh, in the snow, <clears throat> like you mentioned in the very beginning, um, you know, there's so much the salt and the chemicals that are in there. Uh, they, they can be dangerous as when dogs are licking their paws. Yeah. So that, well, that's, that's a big a problem. problem yeah especially here in new york and it's it's you know a lot of dogs don't get terribly sick but they will get like an upset stomach and even that is just not pleasant you know for dog owners to deal with so it's better to just not have their paws touch the the snow or the salt and people don't realize that salt stays on the ground for many days after the snow it's sort of there and it's dissolved in like the, you know the the pavement and um, sort of water and like we take our shoes off and this way dogs can take their leggings off and leave the dirt outside. Yeah, it's really a great product. So many wonderful things about it, Lisa. So your website is walkiepaws.com. And yes. I think you're also on Facebook and Instagram, you mentioned. Yes, it's all under walkie paws. Just um, people need to remember to spell it W-A-L-K-E-E -E, paws. So it's not I-E, it's E. -E. Um, and we're on Instagram, Facebook, um, our website, um, we're also, we also just um, we launched on Chewy recently, so we're available there as well. Um, so there are lots of places to, to buy walkie paws. Well, that's really cool. And uh, you mentioned earlier you, um, you actually got to be on Shark Tank. Yes, yes, I did. I was actually approached to be on Shark Tank. It was awesome. insane because I wanted to be on Shark Tank. And I kept saying to myself, I need to go and pitch. And I was looking, in fact, this was before the pandemic, the January of, I think it was um, 2020. And I was planning in, I think, April to go and pitch to them. And I just get an email saying, would you like to be on show? I'm like, is this for real? I'm like, of course I'd like mm -hmm. to be. So they, I guess they look at certain products that they feel would be good for the show. And it was very exciting to be on there. The only negative was it was during COVID, so I couldn't bring my dog with. And I would have loved to have, you know, had a dog on the, the show to actually demonstrate to people how it works and, and to have had him with me just for company would have been great. So before I let you go, Lisa, you do have to tell us about your personal pets. Oh, I would be very happy to. So I did have two dogs. Toffee, unfortunately, passed away about two years ago, and that was devastating. But he he was a Cocker Spaniel and he lived to 16. So he had a really good life. Yeah. Um, and then we and well, just before that, about two years before Toffee passed away, we got a golden doodle. His name is Stir Fry. <laughs> um, so I know it's a really cute name, funny, unusual name. He gets a lot of attention because of it. And he is the love of our lives. We are obsessed with the dog. I would show him to you, but he's out doing, you know, for his walk. Um, he's like a person. He sleeps in our bed. He's with us. He watches TV with us. I've just, I'm very late to the game now. I'm watching Game of Thrones with my <laughs> husband because we've been home a lot. And Stuff and I watches it with us. And the minute there's a dragon or a, a 
donkey or a horse. He goes crazy barking. Yeah. And he is, yeah, we, we love him so much. I don't know what to say. So we're looking at getting another one, trying to figure that out as well, because I, I just need to have lots of dogs in my life. It's, you know, that's why this is such a great thing for me is I love dogs. I'm obsessed with them. And doing a business now that involves dogs and seeing pictures of dogs and researching do dogs is just a really great you know, a great thing for me. It just sort of all came together. So I'm, I'm in a really good place. I'm really happy with that. And just want to surround myself with dogs. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, still it's such a blessing. Yeah, it's such a blessing. You know, we feel the same way. We, we are passionate about our dogs, but to also have our business evolve around other people's dogs and, and share, um, share that love with other people that have the same passion for animals as we are is, is really uh, it, it's just it's not work it's just fun dogs bring so much joy to our lives so he's yeah he's like the center of our of, of our universe here he's amazing <laughs> well Lisa this has been such a pleasure to have you on the show thank you so much for sharing uh, and great great product so we of course will share all the links in the description below um, so that people can easily find you and um, yeah I'm just excited for people to use the walkie pause. Thank you, B, and thank you for having me on the show. So exciting. Thank Pleasure. you. All right. You have a great day. Bye. You too. Bye. Thank you for joining us today on People with Passion for Pets. We're Jim and B Walker, and we share the adventure of life with our dog Apollo and Heidi. For more adventure videos, check out our YouTube channel, Modern Canine Vlog or visit our website, www.mcs.dog. And until next time, keep your paws on the road.